Let me say one thing right away. If you think zombies only exist in Hollywood movies, you are sorely mistaken. Nature has long since created creatures that hack into the brains of their hosts, take over their bodies, and make them behave exactly as the parasite or fungus wants them to. Creatures that are effectively enslaved, but still alive. Let's delve into this dark world one by one. Now one, zombie ants, Ophiocordyceps unilateralis. Habitat, Amazon rainforests, Thailand, Africa, and parts of Australia. Perhaps the most famous example of real zombies in nature are these unfortunate ants. When spores of the Ophiocordyceps fungus land on an ant, they quickly enter its body. Inside, fungal filaments begin to grow, not only eating the ant's nutrients, but also controlling nerve pathways and even hormone secretion. The ant appears healthy, still walking and working. But at one point, a switch is tripped. The ant is forced to leave its normal path and climb up the tree. At a certain height, usually 25 centimeters above the ground, where the humidity and temperature are ideal for spore dispersal, it locks its teeth into a leaf or branch. This is known as a death grip. The ant then dies, but the fungus grows, and a slender stalk emerges from the ant's back. After a few days, the ant's head bursts open, filling the surrounding area with a cloud of fungal spores. Hundreds of other ants can fall into the same trap. Lifespan of the fungus, the cycle continues as long as there are new hosts. Strengths. Precise selection of altitude and humidity, like a natural GPS. Weaknesses. Complete dependence on forest ants. 2. Nematomorpha habitat. Ponds, rivers, humid areas in Asia, Europe and America. This slender, thread-like parasite is usually found in fresh water. But it spends the main part of its life inside the body of hosts such as grasshoppers, crickets, and even cockroaches. Their eggs enter the host's body, and the larvae feed on the internal tissues. What is strange and scary is that when the larva reaches maturity, it must return to the water. So the brain controls the host. A grasshopper that naturally avoids water is suddenly drawn to the pond or river. The moment it enters the water, the worm emerges from the body, sometimes several times the length of the host. The host usually drowns too. Lifespan of the adult worm. Several weeks in the water to mate and lay eggs. Strength. Complete control over the host's escape instinct. Weakness. Without access to water, its life cycle is incomplete. Imagine an army of zombie locusts diving into a lake at the same time more like an apocalyptic scene than a biological phenomenon. 3. Emerald Wasp Ampulex Compressor Habitat Tropical Regions of Asia and Africa This small but brilliant wasp is one of the most accurate killers in the world. When it finds a beetle, it first partially paralyzes its legs with its first sting. Then, like a professional surgeon, it goes to the nerve node in the beetle's brain and inserts the second stinger precisely at the point that controls the impulse to move and escape. The result? The beetle is still alive, can walk, but has no desire to escape, just like a silent robot. The bee grabs the beetle with its tentacles and carries it to the nest, then lays its eggs on its body. When the larvae hatch, they feed on the beetle's living internal tissues. Lifespan of an adult bee. Several months, but the larval cycle inside the beetle lasts a few weeks. Strengths. Unparalleled precision in choosing the nerve point. Weaknesses. It only works on beetles, not other hosts. Some scientists joke that if this bee were the size of an eagle, we humans would be its slaves by now. 4. Fly fungus. Entomophthora musci habitat. Almost everywhere, especially in urban and rural areas with a high population of flies. This fungus is made specifically to hunt flies. When the spore enters the fly's body, it grows and consumes its internal organs. But the climax of the story is at the moment of death. The fungus tells the fly to go to a higher place, spread its wings, and dry up there. This allows the spores to be transmitted to others in the best possible way. When a fly is infected, it usually dies within a few days. But before that, it can infect several other flies. This means that in a kitchen or barn, the entire fly population can be destroyed in a short time. Strengths. High speed of spread and dissemination. Weaknesses. Strictly limited to flies. Interesting fact. 
Scientists are investigating whether this fungus can be used to control the population of nuisance flies. 5. Parasitic wasp fly, Xenos vesparum. Habitat, mostly in Europe and Asia, in colonies of paper wasps. At first glance, this creature seems like a very small and simple parasite. But when it enters the bees' bodies, it destroys the entire colony from the inside. Xenos vesperum lays its eggs on the bees' bodies. Once the larvae enter the body, they begin to suck nutrients and change hormones. The result? The infected bees no longer act like normal workers. Instead of gathering food or protecting the colony, they show unusual behaviors, laziness, moving away from the nest, and even changing their flight patterns. In effect, the parasite makes the bees of no use to the colony and spends all their energy on breeding the parasite. Life cycle. Larvae develop inside the bee until they reach maturity. Then the adult females hatch and find new hosts. Strength. Ability to change the colony's behavior invisibly. Weakness. Completely dependent on the presence of certain bees. Imagine this model working on humans. A parasite that forced people to abandon their entire social life. Human societies would fall apart in no time. 6. Zombie Spider Mushroom Cordyceps for Spiders Habitat Rainforests in tropical regions like Brazil and Thailand. If you thought zombie ants were scary, this one goes one step further. Some species of Cordyceps Mushroom have evolved specifically to target spiders. When the spore reaches the spider's body, it enters its bloodstream and begins to eat away at its internal organs. But the real trick is in the final moments. The fungus instructs the spider's brain to spin a special web, a protective web that is the most suitable shelter for the fungus to grow. After the spider has made this special web, it dies right in the middle of it. The fungus grows on the corpse and releases its spores in the damp, dark environment of the forest. Lifespan of the infected host, only a few days after infection. Strength uses the spider's natural ability to build shelters to its advantage. Weakness, strong dependence on moist forest conditions and the presence of a suitable host. This means that even small predators are not safe from nature. Even more interesting is that scientists believe that the fungus could target new hosts in the future through genetic changes. 7. Parasitic wasp and beetle habitat. Tropical and subtropical regions, especially in Africa and Asia. Here we have one of the most brutal survival strategies. Parasitic wasps lay their eggs inside the bodies of beetles or even larger larvae. The beetle is still alive and can move, but now it has become a container for the larvae to grow. When the larvae come out, they start eating non-vital organs so that the host can survive longer. In effect, the beetle's body becomes a living prison. Eventually, the larvae reach maturity and crawl out of the body something like a terrifying scene from a horror movie. Life cycle. From laying eggs in the host to the emergence of adult larvae, it takes several weeks. Power. Maximum exploitation of the host's body until the last moment. Weakness. Without the right hosts, the next generation cannot be formed. This is one of the clearest examples of the concept of a real zombie in nature. A living creature, but without will only to continue the life of another creature. Now that we have identified seven examples of real zombie insects and parasites, we know that the idea of zombies is not just a movie. From ants that act like puppets for fungi, to spiders that spend their last breath building shelters for their enemies, they all show how creative and ruthless nature can be. We may think that because these creatures are small and far away from us, they are not dangerous. But the truth is that these same patterns, namely the control of the brain and behavior of the host, can inspire larger research. Whether in medical science or in the scariest nightmares of the future. And let's be honest, one thing is still not guaranteed. If nature can turn ants, flies, yeah, and spiders into zombies, what guarantee is there that larger creatures won't one day turn out to be the same? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel because we're just getting started. And remember, zombies are already out there. They're just a lot smaller than you think. But this same little creature, most likely through evolution or human manipulation, will create an era of zombie-eating creatures. An era filled with disease, fear and death.